What's happening? What's going on? What's shaking? This is Andy coming to you from here at Andy's World of Bass again with another demo video. And today I want to talk about a few different things. First of all, the instrument that I'm holding, which is a 1977 Aria Pro 2 primary bass, Fender P bass copy, built in 1977 in Japan by Aria Pro 2. It's a very, very well done copy and now it's got some significant years on it so it's had plenty of time to mellow with age and um, started off as a very high quality copy anyways arguably um, in terms of quality you know th these instruments stand up next to the real fenders from the same exact production era and uh, i love this instrument one of the main things that i like about it most is that it has the one piece maple neck you know uh, with the skunk stripe style um, that means there's no fingerboard glued on the frets are are pressed right into the one piece maple neck and I really think that that makes a huge difference um, I have a GNL that's like that too and uh, I love it I actually have, I have a few bases like that they're some of my favorites the other thing that I want to talk about is the pickups that are that I put in this instrument, which are the Nordstrand Power Blades, passive P-Bass pickup, fantastic sounding pickup. strung with my favorite black diamond chromium pure jazz chromium flat wound strings that I love I've been an uh, exclusive black diamond endorser for uh, over 10 years now and they're the only strings that I use so my go-to are the um, 500 and 550 M uh, nickel round wound 45 to 105 and 45 to 125 those are my go-to round round strings and then for flat wounds I use the pure jazz chromium flats so this instrument does everything that uh that you would want a kind of 50 style P bass to do and it does it very well um that flat wounds uh, with a with a pick in the recording environment is one of the best bass guitar tones that you'll ever get just the way that it hits tape and the way that it sits in the mix is really really focused and really um, accurate in terms of like the way that it um, the way that the attack hits and it's very clean sounding and the in the and the there's something special that happens within the low end fundamental that's very controlled and very precise
Now that is with the tone at about 80%, which is my favorite kind of uh, place. I'm gonna roll it back now to about 40%. personality characteristics to the type of tone but it also has clarity you know these these power play pickups have a, a really wonderful clarity to them and then the other very cool thing about um, particularly these pickups and flat line strings in general maple fingerboard P bass is that when you start digging in personality that emerges on a sweaty gig but um, yeah that's a great that's a great kind of um, sound as well so I wanted to uh, show you this bass and encourage you you know if you see one of these Aria Pro 2 primary basses from the 70s Motomoko factory build um, they've kind of inched up jumped up in in in, in the um, in the value and in the and what they're getting in the marketplace if you can get one in the seven hundred dollar range i think that you're doing pretty good these days <laughs> And then, you know, you can eat the original sound pretty darn good. The original pickups sound pretty darn good, you know, that that come in them. I still have them. I put them in something else and, and, and then they sound good. But these Nordstrands just they sound so much better. The other thing that I did on this instrument is I put a vintage Ken Smith. It's kind of like the Ken Smith version of um, uh, Leo Kwan Badass 2. And uh, this bridge really kind of um, works well on this on this particular bass. Now if I wanted to put on the original bent metal, original bent metal vintage style bridge, that would bring bring back more of that low mid kind of traditional fender sound. But I kind of like the way that this one stability of it mostly I like the, the way that it's just very firmly uh, anchored to the instrument and the way that the strings don't wiggle wobble lift click none of that goes on so if you're a hard-hitting 
player, you know, play like to play hard and dig in and stuff like that. A real sturdy and stout bridge will will help you. It's a little darker. Like I said, you're gonna lose some of that low mid throat that the P bass is known for. Aria Pro 2 primary bass with the Nordstrand power blades in it, Ken Smith bridge, black diamond flat wound strings. And the last thing I want to say before I go is the rig that I'm playing through back here is a big contributing factor. I'm using the GK 800, uh, MB Fusion 800 head, which has the two preamp. That's my favorite thing about it. It has a legit two preamp in, the, in a micro head. And then the cabinet that I'm playing through is the bare amplification ML. 115 mid loaded 115 cab which has a fantastic tone it's one of my favorite cabs i love 15 inch speakers they've become less and less popular in the last 20 years and um you know everybody's using a 212 cabinet but if you put a 15 by a 212 cabinet i hear a lot of similarities in in terms of the type of um the type of um low mid presentation that's coming out of them so I still swear by 15s, a good, a good 15, and especially this one because it has the coned mid-high uh, driver in it and it's internally crossed over in a very well um, designed way and functional way. So Roger Bear, Bear Amplification ML115 cab is fantastic. And uh, also the MB Fusion 800, it's just, it's just a really nice uh, feature to have on a micro, a small lightweight Class D micro head to have a, a real tube preamp. As far as I know, that's the only one. There might be others, but that's the most um, commonly known of the small, little lightweight uh, bass heads that has a that has a, a, a valve tube preamp in it. All right, friends. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for watching all the videos. We'll see you next time. Peace.